Hey, how's it going guys? Jackie Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna be partying together a thousand dollar MSRP build courtesy of Micro Center. Micro Center is your one-stop shop to get PC hardware, especially right now. If you're gonna get PC hardware from anywhere and not to pay scalper prices, you should definitely go to Micro Center and try to find all the parts for your next gaming PC build. And don't forget that if you go to a Micro Center in person, you can get a free SD card or USB thumb drive. Micro Center helps us out every single month with a PC build. This month, we're actually not streaming live right now. Normally, we're live streaming this on Twitch, but due to internet issues here at our new office, as you can see, um, we are not able to do the giveaway stream like we normally do. But go ahead and follow our Twitch over on twitch.tv slash Bros because we'll be giving away this PC along with another one from Micro Center next month, so you don't want to miss that. Now, let's not waste any more time and talk about this build and how it makes up the $1,000 budget. So for the processor, we actually decided to go Intel this time. So this is an Intel 10400, it's the non-F, so it does have integrated graphics for all of you Minecrafters out there. But we actually have a really good discrete graphics hardware going with that's brand new and we're pretty excited about it. So if you wanna be able to have 11th gen compatibility, make sure you do pick up a Z490, which we did not, we just got a B460 because honestly, this process is gonna last you a long time. This whole build really is really well optimized, especially for the price at the MSRP that you're probably not gonna be able to get it for, but if you go to Micro Center, I bet you can. Now for the motherboard, we have the Asus Prime B460MA. So this is a good board because it's micro ATX, but you have four RAM slots, you have your two four pin connectors for the CPU, you have plenty of expansion as well as M.2. So it's overall just a good board. The Prime A motherboards have always been really good to us. We've never had any major issues or anything. Nice color too. You have like a nice black and gray and white color scheme. Not that nasty brown or green motherboard that you normally see for these cheaper prices. Now, if you guys didn't know, we love going with RGB, which Matt will talk about in a minute. We have even more RGB to scram in this build, but we have two eight gig sticks, and this is 3200 megahertz, it's Corsair, and it's their RGB Vengeance Pro. We really like this stuff because it has really tall heat sinks, it has RGB along the top, arguably some of the best looking stuff. It's dual channel, which you're gonna need because, you know, you wanna have the best FAPSA in every game that you play. That's how it's pronounced, right? Put the pizza. Put the pizza. And for storage, we have an Inland Premium SSD. You guys probably know Inland is a Micro Center exclusive, essentially. They do also sell them on Amazon now, which is pretty cool. Micro Center's really uh, getting out there, but one terabyte NVMe, and it's the cheapest drives you can get. Even on Amazon, they actually sell the cheapest drive, which is pretty crazy that Micro Center is able to do that, so props to them. Now for the graphics card. This is something that not many of you at home can actually get, but maybe at Micro Center you could get lucky and get this GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. This specifically is the Asus Dual version with a nice little RGB accent here. It looks very similar to the other Asus Dual models out there on the market. Has a little bit of RGB accent, but you know, pretty good. The 3060 Ti is a really awesome card for the money, especially for you live streamers out there. That new NVENC encoder is absolutely awesome. Mainly the reason why we recommend cards like this over AMD is if you're getting a live streaming, but this will play pretty much any game you throw at it 1080p, 1440p if you want to. And uh, yeah, we're very happy to be able to use this again. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is more power supply than we normally get. But for this build, we went with the power spec 650 watt, 80 plus gold semi-modular power supply. This power supply is 80 plus gold, so it is very efficient, very well built, and the power spec brand is one that we've used a lot. Well, we use in pretty much every single Micro Center build because it is a Micro Center brand. So 650 watts, more than enough for this PC build and a few upgrades if you want to in the future. And uh, yeah, power spec, really reliable brand. And last but certainly not least, it's a case we actually have done before in a Micro Center build. This is the Landcool 205M. It's a Micro ATX uh, case that can fit our Micro ATX motherboard nice and cleanly. And Lee and Lee makes some really good cases. We've used a lot of them recently and we've been very impressed with them. They are a little bit on the pricier end, but this one is pretty budget friendly at around $60. But to make this even better, because you might be wondering, where's the RGB? This is a Toasty Bros video. Where's the RGB? We're gonna slap some GIM or GIM RGB fans. Um, they were nice enough to send these over a while ago. And we told them we would use them in a build at some point. Here we go. There's the RGB fans. We're gonna throw them in there, make this build look super nice. Let's not waste any more time and get right into it.
ladies and gentlemen. Now that we have this $1,000 gaming PC all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about some benchmarks real quick. Now we decided to test this PC in a couple titles, those being Call of Duty Cold War, Fortnite, Valheim, and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now I did test this PC at 1440p because one, it is a higher end PC and testing it at 1440p just made a good amount of sense and I kind of wanted to see how well this quote unquote budget 3060 Ti could perform in games at 1440p and also I'm at home right now, still no internet, problems at the office and I have a 1440p monitor that I can use so I decided to just run with it. First up in Call of Duty Cold War, this is where I started to realize the true power of this PC. I was very impressed to see an average of over 100 FPS on pretty much high settings at 1440p. Call of Duty Cold War is not an easy game to run, and I did have to do a few optimizations here and there, but pretty much on high settings, getting over 100 FPS is no easy task, and this PC was a dream to play on. No stutters, super smooth, a really awesome 1440p gaming experience, and you could definitely play professionally with a 1440p monitor in pretty much any esports title, as you will see when we play Fortnite here in a second. But Cold War was really playable. If you play this game a ton, this configuration, when you can actually buy it, does make a whole lot of sense. Next up is everyone's favorite game, Fortnite, and on pro settings at 1440p, we got well over 200 FPS most of the time. There were some issues here and there with some micro stutters, and I think that has to do with the fact that going with a B460 motherboard and being limited to only like 2666 megahertz RAM uh, does have an impact on IPC with the i5-10400. So if you are going to spend a little bit more money on something like a 10600K and then like a Z490 motherboard, you probably would get better experience in esports titles where you're wanting to be well over that 200 FPS mark and maybe play on like a 1080p 240Hz monitor, but it doesn't make the gaming experience that unplayable. It's still a very good gaming experience and overall I was very happy playing Fortnite and actually being able to get some kills, but it's something to keep in mind if you're someone who avidly plays Fortnite, you might want to invest in a Z490 board and maybe up to like an overclockable i5 to make that upgrade to Z490 more than worth it. Next up is a game called Valheim, which a lot of you have been requesting we play, and on pretty much max settings at 1440p, we got over 60 FPS. This is a really awesome adventure game that a lot of people have been playing recently, and it is pretty demanding. I do believe it is a little unoptimized, because if you see the GPU usage in the top left corner, we aren't even maxing out the GPU, but we're only getting around 60 to 70 FPS, and the settings are totally maxed out. So there are some optimization issues here with this game, but the 3060 Ti did perform like a champ, and again, we're playing at 1440p here, a more demanding resolution than 1080p, and it is doing a very good job at keeping really good frame rates. And last but certainly not least is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, our AAA benchmark of choice, and running on high settings at 1440p, we average over 100 FPS. This goes to show you the 3060 Ti and i5-10400 combo is perfect for pretty much any AAA title out there on the market. Now the elephant in the room is the fact that you cannot buy any of this stuff really easy right now, and unfortunately that's the case. There's really no way to sugarcoat it for you guys. It's really hard to get a 3060 Ti or any sort of 3000 series Nvidia GPU or AMD GPU. So the main reason we are doing this video is because Micro Center was nice enough to send over the graphics card and everything else for this PC build for us to give away to you. So if you guys haven't done so already, I really suggest following over on Twitch. Don't be commenting down below on entering the giveaway, blah, blah, blah. That's not how this works. Follow us on Twitch, follow our Discord, and you'll learn more about how you can actually win this PC because you want to make sure this gets in the hand of somebody who can actually utilize and have fun gaming with it. So please follow our Twitch, join our Discord, and do not miss out on this next PC giveaway. That pretty much wraps up the benchmarking section of today's video. How about we gonna bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. So as you guys expected, this PC, as far as low-end games like Fortnite, Minecraft, Valorant, games like that, it's gonna absolutely blow them out of the water. And even AAA titles, this thing's not gonna have a problem with. The 3060 Ti is an awesome card. It's really hard to get right now, but when you can actually get it, it's an awesome card. And for most people out there, it's more power than you'll actually need. So I highly suggest you consider picking up that card and try to find it at your local Micro Center because they were nice enough to make this build possible and they are our favorite place to go to get PC hardware. Now don't forget, by the time this video goes live, you actually still have a chance to win this PC here. We're actually gonna be giving away two PCs live, which is a record for us. And it's probably gonna be Somewhere in the realm of two to $4,000 worth of stuff. So uh, yeah, you better be there. Twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Yeah, head over to Twitch, hit that follow button. We'll be streaming on April 9th. That date may change, but right now April 9th is the date. So just go follow there and join our Discord server. That's the best way to stay up to date on these monthly PC giveaways. So if you guys haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our Twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros like we just talked about. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Goodbye.
For any of you guys that didn't know, we are on Discord and we just got partnered. So if you guys wanna join our Discord server, you can talk about tech stuff and whatever you really wanna talk about, link in the description down below, join the main chat, try not to make Zach mad. We'll see you guys in the next one, goodbye. Get banned, banned.